Let's make the softest and easiest peanut butter cookies. My mom got this recipe from a church cookbook, so you know inherently these have to be good. I don't make the rules, I just state the facts. You're going to start by creaming a cup of shortening and a cup of peanut butter together. Then you'll add your sugars. You'll need a cup of sugar and a cup of brown sugar. All these amounts are very easy to remember so far. Make sure that is mixed well, and then you'll add in your two eggs and a generous teaspoon of vanilla. Can you ever have too much vanilla? Probably, but I've never regretted using too much. Then just dump in all the flour. You'll need two and a fourth cups, two teaspoons of baking soda, and one fourth teaspoon salt. Mix that up. The great thing about these is you don't really have to worry about over mixing these. There's no need for a delicate touch or any fine line with any of this. And now your dough is ready. Trust me, these things grease themselves. I wanted to make a few larger cookies and a few regular sized. These are the larger ones, so I'm making heaping scoops, rolling those into balls, and then making crisscross fork marks on top of each. You'll pop these in the oven at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes if you're making regular sized cookies. I baked these larger ones for closer to 13 to 15 minutes. But essentially, once the edges are set, you're good to go. Again, it's always a race for me to get all the dishes done before all the cookies are out of the oven. And here's the finished product. These are so soft, so chewy, but also kind of melt in your mouth. As always, the full recipe details are in my Instagram recipes highlight.